Hey guys, I spent thousands of hours, plenty of days, numerous long nights trying to figure out what do I name my company. And guess what? I figured it out. And I'm here today to help you do the same. Okay, so you are trying to figure out what you're going to name your business. And you probably have sat here and done, um, I don't know, did you try some of the search engines? There are actually several websites out there where you can type in what is the best name for my business or help me name my business and you can put in some key characteristics that you want and it'll pop out names for you. It is a business name or a website name generator. Yes, they have those. But I wouldn't really recommend that you do that unless you really are truly at a loss. One of the things that you really need to think about when you're determining what to name your business is you need to decide what is your business going to be about? Is it a brand? Is it a product? Is it a service? What are you selling? What are you offering? You're not just buying a website domain. You're not just buying a company or starting a company, something, you know, what is it? There's got to be some basis to it. There's got to be a vision there, right? I talk about vision all the time, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> but there's got to be some kind of vision that you have for you. So get some clarity on what you're offering, what you are starting a business around. If it's a service, then uh, you probably... You know, there's certain things that you're going to look at. So let me go back a little bit because I'm getting ahead of myself. But all right. So what are you trying to brand? Is it a product? Is it a service? Is it a company or is it a person? Now, when I first started off with my company, I was trying to brand my book. My book was a product, right? So I wrote Knowing the Struggle is Over back in 2009. And I was like, okay, I'm going to build a website around my book. And I actually bought the domain for my book name. And I decided that that was going to be my website. But then I realized if I have a website just for my book, what else can I have? Is that the only thing I'm going to sell for the rest of my life? Just my book? Should I name my business off of that? Is that all I intend for my business to be about? These are questions that you start asking yourself. Obviously, if you are intending to never do anything else but sell that one book, which obviously I wasn't, then yeah, sure, it's fine. Just get you a website, start you a business under the name of your book. But if you know you intend to do more, then you're going to need to look a little bit further ahead. To be perfectly honest with you, I know a lot of people tell you these different steps that you should take, but Really, when you have a big vision for what you are trying to do and you know what that vision is ahead of time, then it makes it that much easier. If you have a vision for what you're trying to do in business, then you already know the answer to those four areas that I told you to look at. Is it a product, a service, a company, or a person? All right, so let's talk about this a little bit deeper. So a product. Are you selling a shoe? Are you going to sell several different types of shoes? Are you only going to sell shoes for the rest of your life? If that is true, then you would name it something that is befitting of a shoe company. Is it a service? Let's say that you are a janitorial or maid service. Is that all you plan to do? Do you plan to only clean homes or are you wanting to expand and have products that you can sell that are like cleaning products? So maybe you want to have the maid service and you want to have the products that you would need in order to clean, you know, the houses or the facilities that you're cleaning. Well, if that's the case, then now you've combined a product and a service. So just strictly naming it, you know, something for a service is not going to be beneficial. You, if you are branding a business, a company, that means it can have several things underneath it, right? So let's think about a big company out there, like Apple. Apple sells computers, right? More than just computers, but it's Apple. 
Now, we know that the brainchild was Steve Jobs, right? But he, they didn't name it Steve Jobs. They named it Apple. So you can have a company name that's not your name, and, and you can have other products and services and so forth underneath it. So that's not going to be a big picture. If you know there's things that you want to do that branch out, then you would brand just the company. Now, here's the difference in branding a company versus branding a person. This is where I got a little confused at one point. I'm just going to be completely transparent and honest with you. At one point, I was branding my business. So I started off with KM Johnson International. And if you look at some of my social media, it will have like KM Johnson International. I even have a ministry. So some of my social media says my ministry name, and I haven't yet changed it. Well, when you look at all of it, the reason why I was doing it that way is because I wanted people to know the name of my company. But then I realized that I'm going to be doing more than just offering that service, offering my books. I'm going to be speaking, you know, and there's uh, other things on top of that that I do. So I felt like it was more important for me to brand my name. Now, at first I thought branding a name meant that you were, you know, that you had to be some big name person in order to bring your name, some super famous person to bring your name. But if you know that they're, that you're like the face of your business, then your business should be your name. Think about Oprah. Oprah, we all know her name. She has O Magazine. She's taken different variations of her name. But at the end of the day, her name is what has been branded so that we, when we know, when we see Oprah, we know what she does, we know who she is, we know what she looks like, we know what to expect. And so that's, that's kind of how that works. So really, ultimately, when you're thinking about your name, and I know I've probably gone like all over the place with that because it's so much to talk about when, when you're thinking about it. But when you're thinking about your name, think about it. Are you only going to want to do what you're doing right now? Are you trying to brand a person or are you trying to brand a business? Are you trying to brand a product or are you trying to brand a service? And then you also need to think about the fact that down the road, and this is just my advice to people, you can have more than one website. But right now, you can only work on one thing, right? So you can only work on one area at a time. You build that out. And then you work on the next one, right? So if, and, I, and you know, some people might not agree with me, but I mean, if you are working on one thing, let's say you're working on your service industry right now, and you know that ultimately you're going to want to branch out and do more things than what you're doing right now, then it may be okay to brand your name. So those are the things that you need to consider. Do you want to be the face of your business? Or do you want to be a representative for your business? Bottom line, if you want to be the face for your business, brand yourself, brand your name. If you want to be a representative for your business, find a great name that's befitting of, of what it is that you are offering. And that's what the name that you pick. Now, earlier in another video, we talked about how to set up your, your stuff and get it all online. And so picking a domain name was part of that. Once you know your business name, what you, once you've decided the direction you want to go in, then my suggestion is take that and purchase your domain. I'll leave some links down below so that you can go ahead and get that set up right away. It doesn't cost much. I think there's some offers like pretty inexpensive. You can probably get a domain name for under $15, I know for sure. So do that right away once you figure out what your name's going to be and make it happen. You can get your business up, set up, and rocking and rolling, you know, all just tonight. If you have any other questions about figuring out a name, you want a little bit more clarity, you have specific questions about your situation, please feel free to comment. I would love to help you out. I'm looking forward to talking to you more. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm talking about and you want me to do more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.